time to buy a ridiculously big telly and fill the fridge with lager. We talk Euro 2012 with Gold.com's James Goldman. The competition was ferocious, but now we can announce this season's Idiot of the Year. Our take on football's Hollywood blockbuster, the Champions League final. Who's been a right burke in this week's WAG Watch? Meet League An's largest character, literally. He's huge. The outrageously skillful and extraordinarily peculiar in best and verse. I'm Layla, and if you watch to the end, I've got something to show you that you might really want to see. This is the goalpost. It's the end of the season, so we decided to hand out a few gongs, and the first one's harder to win than the Ballon d'Or. Try and guess who the winner is. He loves a rant and last week tweeted, why do people want to solve any conflict with a fight? As a pacifist, I find it incredible. Two days later, football's very own Gandhi was red carded for elbowing Carlos Tevez before Ooh. kneeing Sergio Aguero and trying to headbutt Vincent Company. He didn't even make it to the tunnel before scuffling with Captain Sensible himself, Mario Balotelli. He was like Karate Kid with Tourette's. After trying to start his own personal fight club, where the only rule of fight club is to be a complete bellend, he launched into an expletive-filled rant at Alan Shearer over Twitter, before starting a war of words with Gary Lineker, calling him an odious little toad. Guessed it yet? Yes, our winner for Mindless Idiot of the Week is QPR's Joey Barton. It's a real shame Joey can't be here to collect his award today, but he did send us a tweet. Why don't you just <laughs> off and shove it up your Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss next week's award winner. Well, it's getting near now. Time to buy a telly the size of a house. Attach an intravenous strip of beer to your arm, convert your sofa into a toilet and never move for all of June. Yes, the Euros are almost upon us and everyone has been announcing their squads this week. So to talk Euro 2012, I'm joined by Gold.com's James Goldman. Hello, James. Thank you for coming in. Now all the countries have announced their squads. Any dark horses? I think Poland, as co-hosts, may, may end up surprising a few people. They've got uh, a side built around three players who won the Bundesliga with Borussia Dortmund this year. Robert Lewandowski is just about the hottest striker in Europe right now. Wojciech Szczesny, people will know as one of the Premier League's best goalkeepers. And they're in a relatively straightforward group. So if they were to get through that, they could, they could upset a few people. Anything could happen, but who's your money on? I think you're going to have to look at the Germans. Mm -hmm. uh, they've got a side who got to the World Cup semi-final two years ago with a couple of young players like Meza Ozil, um, Manuel Neuer, who are two years more experienced now. Mm. Um, they're in a very tricky group, but once they get through that, they'll transfer over to Poland were they to win it. And if they do that, it's effectively a home tournament for them. And I think they're going to be very, very difficult to stop. Can't wait. Really looking forward to it, James. Thank you very much. Well, to see how all 16 countries made it through to Poland and Ukraine, just click the Euro 2012 button on our channel, youtube.com forward slash goal. The first blockbuster of the summer has arrived. No, I'm not talking about Ridley Scott's new one. This is the Champions League final. In the blue corner, it's win or bust for Chelsea's Roberto Di Matteo. And in the red corner, it's home advantage for Bayern Munich. Both teams are missing their usual suspects. And it's survival of the fittest with the last man standing, Rocky style. Click on the link for our box office take on the final and all the post-match reaction on our channel, youtube.com forward slash goal. With Montpellier on the brink of winning their first Ligue 1 title, President Louis Nicolas is certainly gobbling up the limelight. This is a guy who's definitely got a face for radio. Earlier this season, the pie-eating chunk gave his views on PSG's failure to sign Carlos Tevez. When they ended up with Maxwell instead, Nicolas scoffed, Maxwell is at a coffee. Then there's this classic. Montpellier, champignon? If I was Paris or Lille, I'd stab myself in the ass with a sausage. If Montpellier do indeed win the title, Chubster Nicolas has allegedly offered to take the entire squad for an all-you-can-eat buffet. My advice, get there early. To start this week's Best and Versed, we proudly present the goal of this season, at least in Japan. Toshihiro Aoyama giving it the absolute kitchen sink for Sanfrecce Hiroshima against Yokohama. Hard to believe he planned that, but a lot of thought went into the goal celebration. Safe to say this fellow wasn't bowled over by it all. 
proving he can still bend it. David Beckham scored a belting free kick this week for Galaxy, but that wasn't his only highlight as he and his teammates met the president at the White House. For someone with so much sex appeal, it's a shame he turned up to meet the world's most powerful man looking like a member of the village people. Click the link to see Beckham's goal and the rest from Best and Best. Two for the price of one in Wagwatch this week. This is Tottenham striker Jermaine Defoe's ex-girlfriend, pop star and generally nice person Alexandra Burke. The X Factor winner reportedly dumped him recently as revelations emerged of the England forward's alleged cheating ways. Massive surprise. The latest accuser is Kirsty Crummy. That's her real name, I'm not being a bitch. She reckons that Jermaine begged and pestered her for explicit pictures and asked her to take part in a threesome after they began talking over Facebook. The 100 grand a week star then allegedly wooed her to a Holiday Inn Express. Oh, you are romantic. However, Jermaine hit back on Twitter to deny it and compared her to comedian Peter Kay's alter ego, Geraldine. Well, if Defoe's not interested in this curvaceous Kirsty, then perhaps this wannabe wag is better suited to Monsieur Louis Nicolin. Well, that's that. But don't forget to subscribe to our channel, youtube.com forward slash gold for all the latest MLS action, the final rounds of Ligue 1 and all the Euro 2012 news. And for those of you who stay to the end, because I promised I'd show you something, are you ready? Is that it? Oh my God, I've just been sick of my mouth.